we'd ask you when you approach the podium, please tell us who you are and the business you represent. If you have plans, you can lay them out on the desk right beside the podium. Uh, we've got kind of a long agenda, so we'll get started. And uh, But before we do, we're going to ask Cindy Ritz to lead us in the Pledge of Allegiance. I pledge allegiance to the flag of the United States of America and to the republic for which it stands, one nation under God, indivisible, with liberty and justice for all. Okay, our first application tonight is DRB 2014-20. The application of Cyrus XM Radio Incorporated at 60 West Avenue in Wayne for modification of existing wireless radio facility. Good evening. Good evening. My name is uh, Peter Cook. I'm here on behalf of Sirius XM Radio. Um, we're here today to discuss a uh, modification of the existing site of our door at 60 West Avenue to the large AT&T building. Oh, you're on the roof of the tower? We have uh, some equipment on the roof. Yeah, I didn't get a real feel for it from the plans of did how it appears, you, uh, you any, uh, did you get any, did how it appears from West Avenue. Yeah, basically, um, a photo simulation that should have been in a package. Yeah. You want to lay those out on the table so that viewers at home could see that? So you know what? I'm gonna, I'm gonna ask you to use a handheld mic. Might be easier for you. Okay. The um, the top of the building tower, as you know, is where most of the antennas are located. We have uh, a blow up here on the right hand side of of um, all that's going on up there. We've got on this lower picture, we're calling out one small um, panel antenna that we are going to be replacing with another panel antenna uh, that's shown on the top and that's also um, we have a small GPS antenna that's about a about a foot high and uh, maybe very similar to this microphone as a matter of fact in terms of, in terms of its looks so that's what's going on at the top of the uh, of the of the building and I'll that's that new panel that's coming in though is a lot larger than the existing one it's pretty similar. It's a little bit longer, mm -hmm. but it's, they're, they're pretty similar. They won't extend height-wise much, okay. much above. Um, this but if it's on the rooftop, you need a telescope to see it anyway. Yeah, yeah. that's why we did the, the blow-up. Mm -hmm. I think, the, uh, to me, the, the bigger issue, uh, if, if, uh, if I were looking at this, is we've got an existing uh, panel, uh, excuse me, an existing two-foot microwave dish um, very low on the tower below. It's, it's there in white. We're proposing a second dish on that lower roof, again, tucked to, to the rear. For us, this is just a repeater system, so unlike the cellular carriers that you might be familiar with that need to be near the edge of the roof, we, we do not. So our stuff is kind of set back because we're just trying to pick up the satellite signal. So I had them call this out in, uh, in the white, the regular white, just so you'd be able to see it on this uh, photo simulation. This is taken from the uh, southerly uh, parking lot. Um, if uh, you were to uh, approve and request us to paint it to match the, the red brick mm -hmm. of the building, I think a lot we, of that we would, would go away. Yeah. Mm -hmm. um, that, it's, it's triple a, the size, right? It is bigger, yes. Yeah, three, yeah. Three, three and essentially, the, uh, I, I, we were here um, a few months ago on the Radnor House mm -hmm. uh, just up the street, which you, you may familiar, be familiar, um, so I'll, I'll give you the abbreviated story because I know you have an, a long agenda, but um, Sirius and XM combined a couple of years ago. Uh, when we're really in the process of going back and retrofitting our existing sites to support both technologies. So believe it or not, they are both very diverse technologies in terms of how they 
they uh, put out signal to their customers. Um, and because of the nature of their business, so unlike the cell companies that would be able to collect all the old phones over a couple of years, we have cars that could have these things in here for 10, 15 years. So we need to be able to support both customer sets. So that's the purpose of what we're trying to do here. Okay. We approve this. I think you ought to give everybody in Wayne right, free a break on Sirius <laughs> <laughs> FM. Okay. Nor can we do it. So. <laughs> yeah, the, the cabinet also you're going to replace? The uh, cabinet, actually there's an extra cabinet that's going to be uh, taken out. The cabinet that's going to be replaced is actually inside the corporate so Okay. Exterior. Okay. All right, so it looks like the new antenna and a, and a new larger dish. Correct. Okay. And color-wise, then we'll... I'm saying if you paint it to match the brick, I... Sure. Thinking yeah. very few people look up there. Yes. Yeah. That would make sense. And you make all the representations that it's structurally sound. Yes. The plans actually okay. uh, right. have a structure. Yeah, I, saw those, mm -hmm. yeah. I saw those. I saw those. But um, I think we use more plans than the wireless carriers do. Right. Honestly, <laughs> Okay. Any other questions for us or comments? Okay, you guys are all right with this? I'm all right. Yes. Right? Mm -hmm. I make a motion to be approved. Okay. That's the motion. Okay, second. Okay, all in favor? Aye. Okay. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you, so much. you bet. You can take this. Yeah. Uh, the township may need him. Yeah. Okay. <clears throat> Next on the agenda tonight is DRB 2014 21, the application of Brandywine Operating Partnership, and I don't believe they're here just yet, so we're going to jump over them. And uh, third is OD 2014-02, the application of Valley Forge Flowers at 503 West Lancaster Avenue in Wayne for outside dining. And this is uh, just point of reference in the Eagle Village Center. Mm -hmm. Hi. Hi there. If you feel more comfortable, uh, it's, it's your call. Unless you want to shout. I'll shout. Okay. Well, here, why don't you, well, why don't you use they it? They need to be able to hear yeah. you, not us hear you. So I'm Dory Rosenblath. I'm with Valley Forge Flowers, and I'm here representing Valley Forge Flowers for the outdoor dining permit. Mm -hmm. So we're going for um, 12 seats. Of a, I've submitted documentation. The location is uh, in our outdoor center between the Little House Shop and Valley Forge Flowers, which is this location here. And um, I've submitted documentation as to the specifics of the tables and the chairs. There are powder-coated steel. There are four tables, uh, one square table that seats four, one round table that seats four, and two small round <coughs> tables that seat two <coughs> for a total of 12. Well, okay. it makes sense. You have the room. It certainly doesn't block the sidewalk because it's your card, card it's your courtyard. Mm -hmm. Okay. Um. <laughs> and Tony's gonna make a comment. Does that courtyard serve any other purpose that we know of? Ray it's just Peyton? the shop. It, Tony, have you been in there? Yes. Okay. Uh, yes, that courtyard is supposed to be the fire building separation distance between the two buildings. Technically, there should be no storage or access between them. That is for fire access and whatever. Also, too, if you read the bottom of the sheet, the health officer has uh, limited the number of seats according to the regulations. So um, I'm going to say that the approval may go through, but it may not be approved as submitted, if that can be a recommendation to you. They are, they're asking for 12 seats. They're only allowed two and a half seats outside. Because right, it's 25 percent of what you have inside. Is that correct? correct. Yeah. And they only have that. So the, by them asking for those 12 seats, they're already over their limit. Mm -hmm. So that, that may be a point that, um, although the design and the concept 
would be agreed upon, the actual application would have to be approved by the Community Development Department. Makes okay. sense. Is there any flexibility with that? Uh, Lisa, I'm sorry, your, your mic. I'm just wondering if there's any flexibility with that given the fact that their primary business is not a restaurant. It's a, it's a flower shop. I mean, it's a gift flower shop. So it, I don't know if you don't understand, but it's, it, it's, not, it's not a restaurant restaurant. They have a restaurant service, but it's part of a larger you know, business. So but again, they're, if, yes, uh, the, the answer would be no in reality because it's based on the number of seats inside. So if it's truly a flower store, there should be no seats inside. But we understand and agree to the concept that when husband and wife would go shopping, the husband would have a coffee while the wife wanders the flower shop. That was the original concept for the inside seating at that time. And even at 12, it was given as a, you know, it's kind of an accessory use. It's like having something just a little extra in there. But now by expanding this outside, we're agreeing that this is now a restaurant and it's it's truly not mm -hmm. it is just it was an accessory use inside so we have an accessory to an accessory use Got it. so there may not be the other thing would be truly on my end is that fire separation there is to be nothing in that alley if i send <laughs> firemen in and they got to get to either building or fight a fire what are you gonna do with the tables and chairs well so uh, that's but that's yeah. another point of mm -hmm. so can we just approve it aesthetically and say yes but you have to go to I mean is what what's our role I don't think we can approve it I think we can suggest that it go to the township community development mm -hmm. and if they approve it well that's fine yeah but I mean aesthetically I like is that can that be our role yes Okay. But we, we still have an issue about the number of seats, though. Well, they're going to. I would say the township has to say no. I mean, you'd right. be allowed to have two and a half. Mm -hmm. the, 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 well, it's the, twelve three. Twelve three. No, I'm saying if there's twelve seats inside. Yeah. Three seats outside. I, I yeah. guess Ray was splitting that up. I don't okay. know. It's a child. <laughs> um, so we can say we like it, but we're not going to be able to. Right. I mean, we approve you know, the furniture. Make a, yeah. Uh, mm -hmm. you know, aesthetically, yeah. quality, materials. Um, Is, is there actually coverage out there also? You need to have an umbrella or an awning or some sort of coverage? Uh, I believe there's pergola coverage. Okay. Is, is it under the pergola? Let's see. I'm, um, I missed that. I, I don't know no, if it's, no, on, no. it's, no. it's, it's not under the, I don't no think coverage. it's under the pergola. No coverage. Yeah, yeah, coverage has to be provided in some way. So whether it be in the form of an umbrella and no advertising on the umbrella just a plain like umbrella type so now it's going to be really crowded visually too if you well, put the umbrella oh, yeah, yeah it's, I mean, it's, it's required it's required so I would think, yeah you, know, yeah, you less have to provide shade mm -hmm. so i'm sorry coverage is required yes yes whether it be an awning and uh, umbrella some sort of coverage over the tables mm -hmm. yes okay i mean if it came down to when you only had a table of three one umbrella certainly would do that so yeah and there's uh i believe it's got to be six feet eight inches from grade to height so it can't be any lower than six feet eight inches the umbrella coverage. the coverage mm -hmm. yeah well i suggest they just move on and make application to township community development right yeah and right. See what happens. i agree mm -hmm. put the chips forward and exactly tony go ahead tony your suggestion um i suggest that you go through the regular channels and make application for a permit from the department of community development and let's see what happens from there. I don't think there's too much more we can do from here from, right. our, from this board standpoint. So I guess we could, we could approve this style, mm -hmm. the style, the furniture itself. If you get approval, we approve the furniture. Is that yeah. Okay. Do, you want, yeah. do you have any other questions for us? I don't think so. Okay. So you like one? the idea? Now you have to hear the yeah. regular channels. Okay. I mean, I think it seems like a logical idea. It's just not within our code to be able to approve it. So, okay. So, um, do you want to make a motion? I move that we approve the furniture proposed for the outdoor seating at Valley Forge Flowers. Okay. Second. Okay. All in favor? Aye. Uh, okay. And in the condition, it will go through uh, the, basically the, the with community, community development. development. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. okay. All right. Thank you. Thank, Thank you. Thank you.
Okay, next is DRB 2014-22, the application of Royal Bank of America, 795 East Lancaster Avenue in Villanova for two wall signs. Hello again. Hi there. Hi. Thanks. Uh, Just saw you last month, right? Yeah, thanks for having me back. No, no problem at all. But we kind of wanted to keep the new logo under wraps, but I guess it came up in the conversation last A little last quicker time. than we thought. Yeah. You're welcome <laughs> to come back as many times as you want. <laughs> yeah, sure. No, well, well hopefully, uh, hopefully this is it, at least for the, uh, for the big stuff. So um, I, I do like this new technology, though. Pretty neat, huh? Uh, I'm not sure if the pictures are really going to be really neat. Uh, I guess really we're here because we're changing our logo in July. Mm -hmm. uh, so mid-July we'll launch uh, with a completely new design to celebrate our uh, 50th anniversary. So the uh, signage which you approved last time I think we discussed was kind of more along the temporary lines. Yes. Uh, it was still we'll, Royal Bank last time. Oh yeah, the name is not changing at all. Uh, no, uh, the, the name will, uh, will stick. Um, really it's just the kind of the look and feel. Uh, we're going to have the, the white metal pan face sign uh, with push through uh, letters with lighting on the front uh, and then just acrylic letters uh, on the side of the building. Um, we're going to be in the same footprint of the current signage. This was just kind of the upgrade. Um, the signs we have there are just vinyl, no light to right, them. Right. This will have um, you know, light illuminating the, uh, the logo. Okay, so it is going to be lit. The front one will be lit, correct. The front one will yeah, be lit. The side one is still until uh, what's going to happen, who knows, with that side uh, as far as retail development oh, or whatever. I gotcha. It doesn't make sense for us to invest uh, the cost understand. Uh, the signs okay. on the side. So it'll just be just the acrylic letters, uh, as you see, just on the so side. So at nighttime, the only thing that's going to be visible is Royal Bank. On the front. America. Yeah. Okay, the background. Yeah, just on the front. Uh, yeah. On the side, right. no illumination right. at all. But the background will be black. Correct. Okay. Yep, just, that's yep. what we want. Well, uh, I should say white. Yeah. It's a white background. Right, but, but that won't be, it will not be illuminated. No, no it won't. Right, no, only the letters. letters will push through with light. Okay. Yep. Great. And, um, I, you know, I, there's probably minimal damage from the last sign going up with a couple of drill holes, but you'll yeah. fill those in and Absolutely. make it look real nice. Okay. Yeah. No, that, that won't be an issue at all. Mm hmm you guys like the design and the, mm -hmm. yeah. Mm -hmm. I think yeah, the only thing I good. see it, the, the sign seems to be pushing into that gray border. Yeah, this, this may when not it, be the most accurate Photoshop job you've okay. ever seen. I, I, think <laughs> it, yeah. I think it should on not top. invade that gray border. I think it should just fit in the well, pan. Yeah, I should say that gray border is actually the overhang of the roof there. So, uh, so this was kind of Photoshopped yeah. on top. There's, uh, there's a depression there mm -hmm. underneath, so it'll be tucked back the, you, uh, you know, underneath. You know, Tony, you may remember this. When that center first came in for signage, we had everybody put their signs on a, on a straight plane. Mm -hmm. But the gym source, for whatever reason, went high. Okay. And instead of being a nice straight plane, the gym source is high. So yeah, that, try that was, to fit it in in such a way that it's going yeah, to. Yeah, and we'd certainly know. take guidance on yeah. you know, <laughs> where we should fit in mm -hmm. and that. And if it's being well, with the majority it of folks. Well, fit in that band of tan. Yeah. Oh, yeah, no, no, absolutely. And, and I should say that may not be actually scaled. That's right. kind of just right. a Photoshop sure. on top. It should be top. centered in the band so you have the same. Absolutely. Yeah. Mm -hmm. yeah, no, absolutely. And we'll look at the other signs yeah. to see if we can't be on the exact plane with the middle exactly. of our sign. Yeah, yours that, is, that's something I we'll know, certainly do. Uh, deeper than um, the gym source. Like I said, hers floats kind of high to the right. top, and there's a lot yeah. of dead space at the bottom. And sure. I don't think it looks good, but yeah. it went up. And, yeah, we'll certainly yeah. be mindful of that okay. when we work with the vendor on okay, uh, putting okay. the sign actually up. And it, it's good, 12-inch letters, which is, for that location, good, should yep. be good. Yeah. And, yeah. Yep. All right. Does everyone like the logo? Yeah, I like the new logo. <laughs> a lot better than the old one. It's a lot better than the old one. <laughs> uh -huh. No, it looks Very nice. Very nice. Yeah. And, of course, hidden fasteners, when they attach so, this sign to the wall, we yeah. can't see any fasteners or anything. So. Sure. Okay. No yeah, I think the, our partner signs by tomorrow has done a lot of signs in the, uh, mm -hmm. okay. in the township, so I think they're very mindful of that. Okay, good. Any other questions? No. See you next month? No, no, no. we'll move on. This is taking long enough. Okay. All right. Okay. Lisa, you want to take this one? Oh, uh, sure. In the matter, matter of DRB-2014-22, Royal Bank's application for two wall signs, I move that we approve both signs as submitted. Okay. My second. second. Okay. All in favor? All right. Aye. Okay. Thank you. Great. Thank you. Appreciate it. Okay. I guess Tony from Brandywine's still not here, so we'll uh, jump over to the fifth one on our agenda tonight, which is DRB 2014-23, the application of two paper dolls design house 
163 East Lancaster Avenue in Wayne, and it's zoned under the Wayne Business Overlay District for our two wall signs and window signage. And here's one paper doll. <laughs> Hi. Hiya. There's All actually right. 16 of us. But oh. Really? <laughs> you just get me tonight. Can I, right. Do I just lay my paper here? Would you please? Yeah, that yeah. Okay. So you are? I'm Vanessa Kreckel, and I am the owner. Great. Nice, nice to have you here. Thank you. But last week we had an applicant. I could not quite figure out what his colors were going to be. Garden Grove. But he kept saying, uh, it's going to compliment, you know, neighbor. yeah, I know. He said, we, and I just drove by to look at it. It's just, I just knew that if you guys were going to be doing the class, I said, oh, well, it's going to, right? yeah, looks know. really good. It's very nice. And, and that's what I thought when he said Peter Paper Dolls is because everything that I see that you design is very, um, you know, elegant or chic or fits. Yeah, that's what it's we try good. to do. Yeah. Okay. Um, so I think that I just, uh, I think, um, okay, wait. Uh, that's yeah. Why don't okay. we Why don't we start? Well, just wanted to just go give us a general idea of what you've done to the building and how you addressed the, the paint and everything like that. Just give us an okay, overview. Okay, sure. Yeah. Yeah. So um, Nick, my new neighbor at Garden Grove, said that when he was in here, I guess last month, he kind of got like the a okay to paint the outside of the building. Mm -hmm. So um, collaboratively, we kind of did that together um, to kind of match both of our brands. So this is a just ridiculously photoshopped. It doesn't look like this. On the, it's not black paint, but we painted the outside. Um, I don't know if you remember, but it was like that horrible maroon color. Mm -hmm. um, so we painted it like a medium gray, and then we accented inside the windows with a darker gray. Um, and I think that we still have to go up, get up here and get these guys um, which I think is happening next week. And then the very the very top of the building, and I guess this is my job to ask about tonight, is still maroon, because we need to get a permit for my friend Ray to um, get a lift so that we can have somebody paint that whole, like oh, it, it needs to all be the same, is that? Right. This right. decorative dental. Oh yeah, there you, know, you go. That, you, know, you want that to be the gray too? Yeah. That's great. So the whole, all the trim on the building will no longer mm. be maroon, it will just be gray. It's a really nice gray. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Yeah, I yeah. totally think so, Sort of too. like a Nantucket, like, yeah. bleached gray. So. Yeah, totally. Um, so we have taken the two spaces that you see here, which are, I guess, to the left of, of the Garden Grove, um, and what used to be domicile space. So we have the whole upstairs, and we've renovated that and brought the whole building up to code. Mm -hmm. um, and then we are putting our... We're a design firm and a production house, so we do a lot of letterpress printing, and we're bringing our presses to this PB&U space, um, which was PB&U for a long time. Um, and so that's kind of going to be like the print side of our business, but we're kind of all like a happy family. Is there a retail part? So we would love there to be. like. Um, you know, our presses are kind of going to be in the back of that building. Um, and we talked about putting like sort of a, like a half wall or, you know, a separation obviously mm -hmm. because we don't want people to walk in off the streets and be amongst equipment. So um, we thought maybe in the first, like, I think it's, did we tell you 10 feet, 10, mm -hmm. eight feet, just kind of have like a, a little retail, um, like, really cool, like, hard-to-find cards, um, you know, from curated from wherever, and some fun, like, little things, but not, I mean, it's not, that's not, that's, like, we do that for fun. Like, mm -hmm. that's not, like, our business business, but we wanted to kind of have that presence. So, yes, yeah. I guess. You do custom printing of, like, invitation? We are a design and branding firm, so we do all kinds of, you know, logo design and development oh, and, and design website design yeah. and development. Um, and then we do, you know, I started this 15 years ago by doing just like really custom high-end invitations and stationery. So it kind of grew into all of this. Is this your only location or do you have other? This is our only location. We have been on, we started back in 2003. We were on Luella Court for a while. And then um, we moved to... West Avenue for the last six years. So we've been in a standalone building there for six years. And you're expanding. Yeah. 
<laughs> yeah, we're expanding. You get a lot of visibility on. Risk yeah, I think it. That's I think good. it will be really awesome. Where do you meet with clients? On, will it be on the second floor? Yeah, yeah. So that's like our whole design firm, and we've mm -hmm. kept like the very open floor plan there. But um, you know, it's really industrial looking and mm -hmm. just like a cool vibe. So yeah, it's a great, it's a great spot. Yeah, yeah mm -hmm. it's a really cool space. So I did go to your sale last year. Oh, yeah, you did? Oh, yeah. Now, what shall I do with all that paper I bought? <laughs> <laughs> well, I got, so we're excited. about to have another one. Whoa. So. <laughs> yeah, exactly. Yeah. Where, so, you know, are you gonna, where are you going to park 16 employees? Well, see, that's <laughs> the thing. That's my next question to someone. But I, um, I have a lot of people who live in the city, mm -hmm. a lot of like young, cool like employees. Um, and we've got about five people with cars. Mm -hmm. And it's my understanding that Donna, who had, uh, or not Donna, Lisa, who owned Domicile, had park purchased parking passes that she mm -hmm. was yeah. like, I'll sell you. Right. I need to kind of follow up on yeah, that. But community development yeah. department can help you out with that, too. OK, perfect. Yeah, there's yeah. discounted it's parking great. for employees. Okay. We so, bought them for our business because yeah. we're right in, right in Wayne, too, yeah. so you get discount parking. There are three parking lots. Yeah, mm -hmm. so we need to do that. But right. a lot of people take the train, which is yeah. It's going to be great. Yeah. Don't, don't park in front of the store. Where's the bus no. that comes no. out from? I mean, I see a bus on Route 30. Where, where's the bus come from? Center 69th Street, I think. Where? 69th Street. Oh, it comes from Your, your I, I people so. probably take the Paoli Thorndale. Yeah, I yeah they yeah. all take yeah. the, the right. Well, this is looking, mm -hmm. it's going to look great. When do you think you'll be in your space? So we are hoping to be in our space, um, the upstairs part of it, uh, next week-ish. Oh, wow. Nice-ish. Um, and then the downstairs part, we have to do um, a little bit more work structurally. Get Bring it up to what you want. Yep. Right, so well, what are we approving? Here? Okay, well we haven't really gotten that far yet. Sorry, yeah. <laughs> that's okay. No, that's fine. My life story. No, that's um, that's fine. It's quite all right. So all right, you're coming. I think people in. will want to know. All the, all our <laughs> yeah. viewers. Okay. You gave a good promo. <laughs> all right, so you're coming in for two wall signs. Why don't we start there? Tell us what you plan on doing with the wall signs. Okay, so there were existing signs basically um, for domicile and for PB and U. There, the long wooden signs. Mm -hmm. And we just thought it would be the best thing to do to keep that structure. Um, you know, the space is already there for them, and it, it matches our new neighbor. Um, so we basically just kept, you know, the long sign. I, I'm pretty sure we're going to do it out of PVC or wood or whatever mm -hmm. it is with, um, you know, just white letters. Okay. Was mm -hmm. the plan. Now. Are you going to put a new signboard on, or are you just using the existing and, and applying? So we took them off today. The signboards. We okay. took those old signs down. Right. Um, and there's like this piece of wood left from PB and U sign. Apparently, they just put their sign over this piece of wood, um, and we couldn't really figure out how to get it off. Mm -hmm. So we kind of were like, okay. Um, right now, we're just going to paint that gray, mm -hmm. um, just so it doesn't look horrible. Um, and then I would imagine the person who makes our signs will get that down somehow and just put these up. I mean, there's already holes. Okay. We're going to put it exactly in existing holes and mm -hmm. keep that all. Okay. Yeah. All right. I have a question. I know you said that this was since Photoshop, that it, this is black. Is, are, are, is this going to be gray, the background behind the? So TV? our signs actually were going to be black. Yeah. Um, I think it will just like pop out a little bit yeah, more. Yeah, I don't think you'll be able to see the lettering if you mm, go exactly. Gray. Yeah, okay. And good. so we, you know, we've rebranded our company, and um, everything is black and white. So, cool. yeah. Okay. So, um, all right. So you're gonna have uh, what kind of materials do you think the background's gonna be? I think it's either gonna be PVC or wood. Or wood. Okay. Yeah. Because your neighbor went with more of like an acrylic. Did he use growth. acrylic? Okay. Yeah, it looks that way. It's got a heavy okay. shine to it. So Yeah, no shine. Yeah. No. Yeah. Not okay. for you guys. Yeah, no. Okay. Okay. All right, so PB. Uh, I think so. Yeah, yeah. Or, or whatever. I mean, yep. you have design sense. All we're asking is that you do something in harmony yes. with your neighbors. So it, so two and two becomes four instead of yeah. two that becomes five instead of yeah. three. Exactly. Okay. So on your sign, TPD Design House. Dot com. That's basically the name of the business. It Two is. paper dolls. Mm -hmm. Yep. The sign house. We, okay. Yep. And then where paper paper meets press, is that another? 
So people Name Meets the Press is, um, I've had an employee for five and a half years who has done all my printing and, you know, he, he's been an employee and he, we've always done it under two paper dolls and we've got two pressmen and basically Scott is kind of, you know, went part time the last two years and started to do his own printing um, on the side and we just kind of, I thought that it made like really good business sense that we kind of gave him our printing business, but like we've worked out this like deal because that's all my equipment and like, mm -hmm. you know, mm -hmm. whatever. Okay. Um, so we work together and not against each other and it's like totally been awesome. So that is the name of his company. It is. But he is under my lease mm -hmm. um, and he, we are like a family. So <laughs> I don't know. So you have a partnership. We do. Mm -hmm. We do. Okay. Good. Yeah. Um, well, and that's, okay. I'm sorry. Oh, go ahead. No, I, I was going to say, like, you know, for your signage, you just can't put, like, you know, on a red paper or something like that. It's got to be the name of a business as such. And that of course, we it, always yeah, give them the, yeah, that's, that's the what I'm asking. Yeah. 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 You know, and of course, we always have a byline, too. You know, it's, you know, I don't know. Keep going. Do a sandwich shop, uh, yes. hoagies, you know, drinks or whatever. <clears throat> so, paper meets but, press, it says letter press company under it. So that's right. to those who know printing. They're like, oh, this is exciting. Yes. Yeah. Okay. So totally. that I think that that's you know, we you know sandwiches. You know, our branding steaks, is yeah. very much similar. So we tried to keep it, you know, so it still looks like the same place. Okay. Mm -hmm. Yeah. But is that satisfactory? Well, I, I was just going to ask Ray what he thought on that. A little bit of a gray area. Yes. <laughs> yes. <laughs> okay. All right. The uh, we'll let Ray think that one over for a second. But uh, letter height. Do you have any idea how tall those letters are going to be? Um, however tall you tell me they need to be. What? I mean, our building sits fairly close to Route 30, so right. naturally the letters don't have to be that large. Right. I, I mean, I think what looks there is pretty nice. But you guys, what do you yeah. guys think? I think it looks but, great. Yes, yeah. I think it looks great. Yeah. We, we gave Garden Grove pretty big letters. Yeah, he's a lot but larger. They're, they're two letter. They're two words. Yes. But, um, I, I mean, I think you could go a little larger. It's just you have a great yeah. sense of proportion. So I don't, mm -hmm. would you want to make, make them larger than this? Yeah, maybe a little bit. What are these, about eight inches? I think so. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I would say maybe 10 tops. 10, Ten maybe? Fine. Okay. Yep. Yeah. And I kind of like the way it's spelled out. Yeah. 163 East Lancaster Avenue. I like that too. Yeah. That's mm -hmm. a good identification there. So. And so the building is all one address. So okay. both PB and U and domicile had the same address, mm -hmm. That's mm -hmm. which is crazy to me. Mm -hmm. But um, yeah, so we're kind of all under one address. Okay. Are you, now, naturally, it's not going to be illuminated. No. All right. Uh, there's is probably okay? some spots underneath. There are spotlights that yes. shine on the okay. sign. But no yes. extra no. additional electric you're Absolutely putting in. Absolutely not. So. Okay. Yes. there. So. Right, whatever's there. Okay. All right. Okay. Did you already mention this? The windows are not going to be tinted or grayed, or they're or no, no. Okay, that's just the, that's just it's rendering. Photoshopish. Okay. Got it. Stuff. Okay. It looks good on the Photoshop, but, um, <laughs> All right. so it doesn't. Okay. No, you'll see through them. So we're okay with design, letter height, maximum ten inches, mm -hmm. uh, materials, everything like that. Mm -hmm. The question may be, okay. All right, it's the name and the business and everything. So, all right. Wait, we are okay then. Uh, Raise. Oh, we're okay. Okay. All right, good. Thanks, Ray. All right. All right, so let's look at the window signage. Okay. Okay. All right, so you have, uh, we'll start with the paper meets press side. Mm -hmm. I don't know if you know, there's, in the code book, there's a rule, and you're allowed up to 20% of your window space for advertising. Uh huh. So I think that one, I mean, you don't have measurements here, but I think that looks like, to the naked eye, it's well below 20%. Okay. Yeah. Don't you guys agree? Mm -hmm. Yes. Okay. Yeah. So the design looks good and everything. Mm -hmm. I like okay. Design. All right. The design house. Yeah. That looks like it's a little above twenty percent, huh? Well, I was kind of yeah. hoping that maybe it was like the negative space in those letters. Uh -huh. maybe That's the way Jim used to always do it, yeah. Bradbury. He'd start measuring right. like negative space and go, <laughs> well, if you and if you do think, I guess if you think about the negative space, I don't know that it is more than twenty percent. It's <laughs> hard to push all those letters together yeah. and see what. But I, I don't think the antenna to the code I, I can make it a little yeah. smaller. Yeah, a little smaller. Yeah, I, I think quite a bit smaller. Mm -hmm. Like how, how much? How big smaller? are those letters? Do you think on design? Um, 
They're probably tw they're probably 12 inches. They're 12 inches, yes. If I can make one comment here, that design house, TPD, that window or area is what we would probably call a mannequin area. Mm -hmm. uh, so it's a display anyway to show goods. It leads nowhere. You have a tiny door to get into that window to put something behind that piece of glass. So the reality is it's it doesn't go anywhere. It doesn't prevent or it doesn't do light. It's not a it really could be walled off and made part of a wall there. But that display where the mannequin would stand with a couple of things is very small. So even though that design yeah. seems to fill that window, it's kind of a useless space. It doesn't. Mm -hmm. What are you going to do with that? Itself. It's like a box. Yeah. yeah. It's, so it's what are you it's just totally going to paint box, it something? Like, so we thought we were going to put, it's painted. Mm -hmm. um, it's painted dark gray. The whole thing is painted. Okay. And then um, we were going to put like, you know, a vintage press in there oh, and cool. like cool. just mm -hmm. some kind of cool display. Like. Sounds cool. Yeah. Yeah. Whatever it is, it'll be cool. Well, in that case. What, cool is cool. Right. right. Well. Or what I was going to say is, if you just um, instead of applying it directly to the glass, if you get out something uh, suspended inside the window, there's a window display as such, mm. and not window glass. I, I'd rather see window glass. I mean, I, I think because our, that, you get a reflection if you have something inside the window, yeah. then you can't yeah. really see it that well. Our hope was like, you know, the million cars a day that kind of drive mm. by there were like, be like, whoa, what's yeah. that? Well, I think I think it's definitely has to be a little smaller now. Okay, not a lot. What do you think? Well, I, I mean, other guys are going to come back to us and you know, you know, where that goes. Well, you know what? If they have a similar situation where they have a mannequin window with nothing that you know is with all the um, detail that Ray pointed out, we could say, you know what? You too should have larger. I mean, I mm -hmm. because it it doesn't look at anything. You know, you're not looking into the window or looking right. out from the window, so it sort of is a nice design element for us. For a big piece of glass, Lisa. <laughs> I like it. Okay. I like the whole thing. <laughs> I'm sorry. Tony. I think it's fine. Yeah. I have no problem with it at all. Yeah. Do you? I, I, I like to say I think it's a little <laughs> large. Think, well, if you were going to yeah. take it down, I'd only take it down like from 12 to 10 inches, I guess. Yeah, I would I'm say, trying to think again, like no what would happen. 10, to yeah, 10 is pretty big still. I think you have to remember that if she's increasing the scale on the top one, I mean she's trying to balance that too because she wants the design house to stand out in a different mm -hmm. way so okay. I just all right we'll give you a little bit of a free hand how's that but okay do it Sounds tastefully good. I know you I know you will so. it's gonna be tasteful yeah I'm, I'm sure okay. Okay. okay all right um and then we else? just have the little door ones the little the door yeah, the doors are good uh, look like they're well below mm -hmm. the 20 percent rule yes. and you know if you need to put your hours on there or whatever they they really don't count against your square footage so. okay perfect yeah. um and then the top, these these yes. are my top windows, I guess, mm. here. Mm. Can you make those decals, you uh, guys? Um, yeah. Cool. Okay. I, need, I want decals. No, I don't <laughs> okay. You guys are right. Lisa, you're right mm -hmm. with that? Mm -hmm. Okay. Yeah. All right. They're Anything cool. else as way of signage um, that you're bringing to us tonight? No. Okay. I don't think so. Okay. Um, yeah, I think that that's good. Okay. Yeah. I'll just You're mention one thing. I don't think you guys will do it, but just in case you do, you see a lot of tent signs or sandwich boards yeah. around town? Yeah. Save your money. Yeah. <laughs> they're illegal. Yeah. So okay, they're figured. popping up all over. But And yeah. there's a bench outside yes. our office. Is yeah, that okay? Uh, well, Nick talked about that last okay. month. Okay. Yeah. And that's fine. Mm -hmm. Yes. Yeah. I okay. think he said he maybe even painted, it, if I'm not mistaken. It's painted. It's painted. It okay. great. That's yeah. no, fine. Um, Is it gray? Did you paint it it's gray like you paint black? it's I think it's almost black I oh, think it's black nice. um and then this is totally just random but I thought I would ask this like if if we at some point in time have windows that open upstairs um would we be able to put flower boxes there or no I don't, I don't think it'd be yeah. a problem is there right? anything about uh, flower bo flower boxes yeah I don't know any rules is there about any that. safety hazard there <laughs> okay nothing well, secure Aaliyah. Don't drop the trowel. Oh, yeah. Okay. Totally. Is that something that you guys would check out first? Okay. All right. So talk to Ray. If okay. You're going but you wouldn't have road. to come before us on that. No. Uh, Good. Okay. okay. All right. So All right. And, and then you could talk to Ray or somebody in the office about the parking okay. permits. 
Perfect. Thank yeah. you so much. Okay, you bet. All right. Any other questions for us? I don't think so. You're right. Okay. Thank you. Okay. Cindy, want to handle this motion? I think I think we approved everything as it was presented, mm -hmm. don't you? Okay. Well, we're going to just change some sizes a little bit. So. Okay. In the matter of DRB 2014-23, two paper dolls design house, I move that we accept the design as proposed, with um, the following stipulation: the wall sign TBD design and paper meets press. The letters can be increased to no greater than 10 inches. Um, we are allowing you free reign to shrink design house window or keep it the size it is. Is that right? Uh, we approve the, the second story signage and the windows. Is that it? I would just make mention about the uh, background material too. It's a wood. Oh, yeah. and the background material we approve as wood or um, a, not acrylic. Like a uh, synthetic PVC, wood. A, yeah. a synthetic wood. Right. Okay. No, no sheen. Right. Okay, do we hear a second on that? Second. Okay, all in favor? Aye. Aye. Okay, thank you. Thank you. All right. All right, next on the agenda is DRB 2014-24, the application of edible arrangements at 623 West, West Lancaster Avenue in Wayne for two wall signs. And uh, this is where the Stratford Pharmacy used to be on Old Eagle. And, and the karate place. And the karate place. Hi there. Hi there. I'm Chris Maroney. I'm filling in for Keith Cotton, who is at his uh, daughter's high school graduation tonight. Ah, <laughs> come on. This nice. is more important, isn't I know. it? Yeah. yeah. We're just seeking to garner approvals for the, uh, the signs on the corner, a backlit channel Look. letter sign. There we go. No one more. Bingo. Tell us, uh, I, I'm, the mystery is uh, taking me over. What, is, what are edible arrangements? Uh, they are like a um, the flower shop, but they basically put fruit arrangements together. So How you can, fabulous. How yeah. wonderful. They, they're delicious. They it's look a great. great. It's a great gift. Isn't I've gotten it? them. They're just, I think it's a really good location. I was just thinking about it, thinking, oh, my gosh, you have great pull-in traffic for pickup. It's a you're much more visible. I don't know if it's your business, but it's no, much it's more. No, it's not. I'm, I'm the broker, but it's just a it's a it's a perfect location. Yeah, it's great much visibility, better visibility. Oh, yeah. Traffic count, so it, it'll be unbelievable. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Are you expanding from the one in Villanova? Or are you still? Are you keeping? No, they that? are moving that oh, location. Oh, the so the re that'll the be a relo. Oh, oh, okay. So okay. it's a flower arrangement that you can actually eat. Yes. Yes. It's fruit. Okay, like it's fruit. It's just that looks fruit. Like flowers. It's got. It just oh. on they're on long skewers and you see this basket, beautiful beautiful colors and it's great melon idea. and strawberries and I could sell for them, tell them yeah. yeah. Terrific use. How big are those letters? I'm having trouble seeing the vertical dimension on the I'm sure it's here. Or maybe it's not. I see the uh, twenty four by nineteen feet, twenty four inches. Would that be the letter yeah. height? I would think so. Okay. I mean, they look and, uh, I mean I'm sure you know it's what? within I don't, it's within the guidelines. No, I don't. Well, well they, that they, wouldn't. They've be got right. a lot of square footage on that Old Eagle yeah. School Road side, mm -hmm. um, but the I fact that it sits right on the corner, mm -hmm. I'm not too sure that sign needs to be quite that large. Yeah, but you know, I don't think it's 24. Because no, I don't I'm doing think so. this, cutting this down, and looking yeah. to see if I cut this into, if I sort of scale it. It yeah. looks like the logo to D and the L. They may be 24, but yeah, yeah. No, I don't see this because here's 24 from here to here. Right. So nothing comes, that's like... Dead space. And the, yeah, that's dead space below mm -hmm. there. So I'm thinking a third of that or, right, 24 yeah. or 6 inches. So we're down to like 18 here. Not quite, I don't think it would be that. So these are individual backlit letters, can or each one. Correct, like on, on a raceway, and each yeah. one is an individual Can you see the letter. raceway? Um, you could probably, when you get up close, you could probably see the raceway, mm -hmm. I believe, behind it. Be painted out with a brick, probably. So. Yes. Yeah, I don't see anything about letter height, but. No, I, I'm just kind of guessing. So I, I mean, guess we'd have to just give a limit on that. Yeah. I mean, looking at the Route 30 sign, I mean, it runs right into the little sign there. I know we approved that years ago, that little yeah. health sign or whatever mm -hmm. it is. Is um, that business still? Yeah, that's yeah, still, still there. there. They have one on Old Eagle School Road. <laughs> yes. Also, but. Like I said, it just kind of they run together. I know. I would I would want it to see it a little bit shorter so it doesn't run into that sign. Yeah. I agree. I mean, I agree with you on that. And 
even at 10 inches, which would be small, mm -hmm. everybody would see it from Route 30. Yeah, I agree. You know, yeah. Um, so red on the brick. That's your corporate colors, though, isn't it? Red? Yeah. Yes. Yep. Yeah, okay. All right. I actually was going to, my feedback is the same thing. I mean, it's a combination. I just think it should be a little smaller, yeah. not a lot. But also, I, that was the first thing that stood out to me was the red on the brick. And I right. didn't know if there's any flexibility with that. I think that's their corporate, I think that's their corporate colors. Mm -hmm. Well, the, the, the trim, I guess, around the letters is possibly it, could be black. Is, or, or it, is white. it or is that just the way it's photoshopped well, put on here? I don't know if it's actually. There's, in the plan here, it says a one inch trim cap. Well, maybe that's, I mean, it makes sense because that would help it to stand out against the brick. Just look at some of it. I'm trying to, over there. give me a shot. <laughs> I think it's pretty subtle. I mean, I don't have any problem. Yeah. Mm -hmm. I mean, I, I don't, it doesn't bother me. I, I just think, think for the business, it'd be nice yeah. for them to be, have more visibility. But so I guess maybe what we, what we should do is if we pinch this dimension, that'll automatically make the letter size smaller, yeah, no matter yeah. what we go with that. So if we say, I'd like to see, you know, at, at least six inches between this sign, the, the what's it called, healing right. hands or something like that, between at least, I'd like to see, you know, eight to 10 inches yeah, I, between I the end of edible mm -hmm. arrangements. And um, no. so that- Seems like at night, it's gonna work better than it does during the day. Yeah, right. Sure. But that, that store has such great visibility interior-wise, too, with all the glass. I think oh, yeah. everybody's going to know what it is. Absolutely. I mean, yeah. It's great. Um, so even, I, mean, I know they like to put signs in their windows because then you can display, um, you know, show product. Right. But you heard probably the previous Keep applicant. Keep it within, it within the 20% 20%. 20%. Yeah. Mm -hmm. yeah. I mean, if you have a display inside the window, like Gap, I think, does that sometimes. They'll have a big poster. But it's set inside the window, so... You know, it doesn't right. actually block the window. The, um, look, Tony, you got a pretty good eye. Can you count the bricks to get the measurement on that? Oh. I count yeah, the bricks. To, well, we could take a measurement from here. I mean, he's got the measurement here okay. of 15 and a half feet for the, for the length well, of the sign. He's saying 24 inches tall, right? Is that what you're counting? I mean, the design's great. We just don't want it to be so strong in that corner, you know. I think that E uh, is five inches. Oh, I think five. Uh, I mean, five bricks. Go to this page. Yeah. Go to this page. So that's 20 inches, right? No, it says two feet. I know. But then it's less than, the letters are much less than two feet. Well, Tony, if you so take 24. this two feet. Hold on a second. And you chop it off here. Maybe they're like 10 inch letters. Yeah, go like this. Because this whole thing's two feet go across here yeah yeah and so I'm I, thinking that's about a third or a quarter yeah so if you break this up um, so that's less it's closer to I, I think that's 18. indicating the two feet is indicating between the window and probably the bottom of the canopy mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. yeah is, I is, think that the letters are much smaller that within the guy I think the letters are I think the highest letter is probably about a foot the, no 18 inches maybe is if the that, go ahead. is the fifteen yes. is the fifteen six measurement from the end of the basket to the end of the S or is it the where do you see the fifteen six on the on the black and white diagram that you gave us yeah this okay. one is this one is for um, another one up in Lower Marion on City Avenue so, um, so my my question is if whatever that measurement is from the from the left end of the basket to the the right end of the S. If we were just to say that you were to shrink that overall measurement horizontally, say a foot or however far we decide we want it from that health sign, and then in proportion shrink the top, the, the vertical measurement, that's really the question, right? I mean, how far we want the ends of the sign centered over the window, the end of that right, right? Mm -hmm. yeah. I agree with that. Yeah. You could keep the basket right where it is. Just pull the sign in a foot. Mm -hmm. We're saying a foot. Is that what you suggested? Yeah, a foot from the um, from the end, the right end of it, the east end of it. Right. But you want to keep the the you want to keep it centered with the window. It needs well, to be centered with the window. I think. I guess the D, B, and L are 18 inches, and mm -hmm. if they're 18 inches, then the E that's next to it is half that, which is nine inches. 
Would you agree with the that? little e or the, the uppercase? E. Oh, the upper, yeah. Probably and the big E would breaks. be like. But really, it doesn't matter if you think about what we're talking about is shrinking the okay. the horizontal dimension. Yeah. Yeah. It's going to automatically reduce the size of the letters. In which mm -hmm. case, right. I'm happy with the size of the letters. We you want to get an extra foot on the S side. I, I was just saying hypothetically. We need to decide how, mm -hmm. f how, what kind of space we want between the S and the health sign, and then mm -hmm. I would shrink the the whole thing in proportion, mm -hmm. as long as it's still centered with the window like it is now. Mm -hmm. Leave yeah. the basket okay where it is. And shrink you can leave the basket where it is. In fact, the basket shrink. can stay the size it is mm -hmm. because it's a logo, so it can be yeah, larger. Yeah, I'm not authorized to. You know, I got I have to go talk with the yeah. owner okay. about that. I mean, I believe that the way he structured this was in the guidelines of of the township, so I'll, you know, I'll, I'll discuss that okay. with them. Yeah, I mean, it looks like it's already at least six inches away from the health signs. So we're probably talking about shrinking the overall, the overall text another six inches. It's not really that much. Do you know what I mean? It, All right, so just make it at least it's six inches from the health sign, and it will be shrunk according. As, a total of 12 inches yeah, total from the health, the health sign. We're just assuming you already have about six, which I don't know. Yeah. I think that's pretty generous. Yeah. We just want 12 inches between the health sign and the S. Okay. okay. Yeah, just so they don't run together. Right. Yeah, I think it's. And I then there, you can, I guess you, you know, th that's going to shrink your lo the whole, the basket and the edible arrangements accordingly. Mm -hmm. But you could tell, you know, the person whoever you report to that I know they have a they have design standards, but they would be allowed to leave the basket larger because we allow logos, trademarks like that to be larger. So mm -hmm. if they can, if they want to do that, it could stay larger, and mm -hmm. edible arrangements would just be shrinking. Okay. Does that make sense to you guys? Yeah. Mm -hmm. Or everything shrinks. Or everything okay. shrinks, either, either way, yeah. And on the uh, Old Eagle School Road side? Well, I don't mind that. You know, okay. Maybe it should be this, well, you can't even see them at the same time, you know? Yeah. Again, I mean, that sits right on the highway. Yeah. You know. It's busy spot. There's, I there's no reason to be that, that large. Yeah. I think yeah. I would keep them the same size. I think I would do this, do I'm the sure same. Sure, they're going to want them the same size. Yeah. yeah. Okay. Okay, so we'll just say they need to be the same size. Okay. All right. Uh, so you know about the twenty percent window yes. signage. Okay. Your address number hopefully is on the door. If not, we'd ask you to put it there, mm -hmm. nice and visible. Awnings. You plan on doing anything with those awnings? Do you know? Um, they were going to probably utilize the awnings and, and keep them there for the sun. So okay. If they have a, you know, it's a, it's a canvas awning, so they'll probably utilize it. Okay. If there's any uh, writing or anything that added, that I'll have to come back to our board. Sure. Okay. For approvals. And 15 foot from grade. Uh, signs can't be any higher than 15 feet from grade. Mm -hmm. And I, I don't think you're going to have an issue there. We've had mm -hmm. two uh, judo guys or karate yeah. guys come in, and mm -hmm. they were all okay. So. Um, what else? Any questions for us or comments? Or? Uh, no, I think he covered it. Right. I, went to, I think he did follow the township guidelines for the amount of square, the square footage that you're allowed for a sign. Right. But it doesn't seem that clear in the code that even though you're allowed to use that much space, you can't have letter height that exceeds a certain amount. Okay. So that's what's confusing sometimes for applicants. Okay. Yeah. Okay. Any other comments from the board? Questions? Tony, you all right? I'm fine. I'm you, good with it. Okay. Good. Tony, want to, want to make an approval on this? Oh, Ray has something. Oh, <clears throat> you may want to remind that there is no sandwich board. All oh, right, oh. sorry <laughs> about that. Yeah, no sandwich boards. Okay. Thank you, okay. Ray. <laughs> I, no, this is okay. I'll leave. Yeah, it. and that's a small sidewalk, so you right. Especially Unless they're edible the sandwich boards. That's right. <laughs> mm -hmm. Yeah. Thanks, Ray. Okay. In the case of DRB two zero one four dash twenty four for edible arrangements. Um. We approve the wall signs as submitted as long as they don't exceed what length? As long as there's one foot between, like the wall signs need to be reduced so that. Yeah. Between a neighboring sign. So that there's a foot between the S and the neighboring sign. Okay, do you have that, Peggy? Got it. Okay. okay. Both signs are to be the same size. Both signs. Uh, on Lancaster Avenue, what what is that? Sugar Town? Old, Old Eagle School. Old Eagle School. Mm -hmm. uh, will be the same size, mm -hmm. and they'll be backlit illuminated can signs. Right. 
Hopefully uh, it'll have a little blackout line. I think it'll just... I hope so. Yeah. Just actually more for them than for me. It's not my design center. Exactly. I think it's better for them. It, it almost appears in it. Yeah. it and you'll paint out the raceway to match the brick. Mm -hmm. Okay. Uh, the awnings are uh, acceptable as their existing awnings. Um, in the glass, you can have you can use up to twenty percent of the glass area for signage. Mm -hmm. That's about it. No, no sandwich boards. No okay. sandwich boards. And no sandwich board unless they're <laughs> edible sandwich board. Okay. No sandwich. Please. All right. Do we have a second? Second. Okay. All in favor? Aye. Aye. Okay. All right. Thanks. Aye. When do you expect to open? Uh, I think at the end of July they want to be open. Okay. Then when are you when are you they're out of Villanova? We're garnering uh, approve, you know, permits now. Yeah. Pool, but I think are, the end of July. Are you, are you still open to Villanova? Or? Uh, yes. You are? Yeah. Okay. So the big changes are coming soon yeah, down there. Definitely. They were in last month. <laughs> so, yeah. All right. Good luck. Yeah. Thank you very Thanks much. Thanks a lot. Thank Appreciate you. it. All right, next on the agenda is DRB 2014-25, the application of Aviva, 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 I'm sorry, I knew I was gonna butcher that. Aviva at 15 West Avenue in Wayne, uh, zone Wayne Business Overlay District for one wall sign. And you're Hello. a new business? We are, we are um, Lululemon's line for girls, Oop. ages four to 14. You know what? Yes. Okay, yeah, there you go. You can use that, just so everybody hears you at home. So. Yes, so we are Lululemon's line for girls, ages four to 14. Um, we're an active wear company. We're a showroom, so we're open Wednesday through Saturday. And the rest of the time we spend in the community, um, building relationships with the girls, doing run clubs, goal setting, classes. Um, so that's basically it. We are looking for, we, are, we opened tonight. Um, we had a soft opening and we have a full opening tomorrow. Um, we had in the plans all showrooms get a blade sign, but the blade sign with our awnings won't work. So we um, have changed the design to be a pin sign um, that will be mounted onto the brick. It's a half inch aluminum and it is painted with um, high quality um, automotive. Yes. Yeah. yeah. Okay. We oh, take okay. A, we're going to take a five minute recess. Okay. Okay. Yes. You're going to hit your mic. Right, right in the middle of your performance. <laughs> <laughs> you can we'll see, give you, you a moment to sure. you think you're plug free. Could you have me? Yes, for sure. Okay. okay. I just did. I said I'm so over snow. Oh, yeah. yeah. This is great. Yeah. This is not the young girl. This is not what young girls need, though. <laughs> There's something wrong with the way that the camera being right behind. So. Oh. Are you wearing Lululemon? I yeah. am. They have <laughs> and a dress? They have a dress, and it's, it's split in the back, and there's a sports bra underneath it, so you can see a little. And so they were worried that it looked like I was showing off, so, which is totally fine. And we're... All right, our five minute recess is over. Cindy and uh -oh. Tony, okay. put your mics on. Thank you. Okay. So, so yes, <laughs> um, it is uh, going to be, it's our medium pin sign. They uh, decided to go with a smaller version on brand. Um, it was through corporate. They wanted to make sure it was in proportion and that it would fit well with the building. So this um, isn't your first store then? This it is, is our first store. This is we were actually slated actually. to be um, okay, we're slated you. to be Aviva Philadelphia, mm -hmm. and I brought it to oh, Wayne yeah. um, because I thought this was a perfect spot with mm -hmm. um, just the business and the main line and and the moms and we're right next door to Competitive Edge, so mm -hmm. it's it's actually been a 
we, we've done really well. Even in the first hour, we had done over $3,000 worth of business. So um, we don't have a whole lot of, I mean, we're a showroom, so we don't have a huge amount of um, merchandise, but every week. So it, this is going to be quite a, a big thing. And we've gotten a lot of friendly welcome from the businesses around. And all they've all at, hoped that we would succeed. And mm -hmm. they're happy that we're there. Great. That's great. Yeah. great. Welcome to town. Yeah, thank you. Yeah. OK, so, so just getting back to the sign then. Yes. So it's going to be pin mounted. Pin mounted. OK, you're going to take all the identification off the awning. So the, the awning is just going to be co we're covering. We've had some umbrella made that's matched. It's um, just like what they did with Gabby's jar. They um, had it just rolled, and so mm -hmm. it will go right on top. OK. It's a temporary fix. It's an older awning. Mm -hmm. um, since we are a temporary fixture, we didn't want to replace the whole awning in case of whoever else wanted to come along and do, redo it. It would okay. just be an, an, an unadded expense. For okay. It. What color is your awning? It is green. green. Okay. It's hunter green, and mm -hmm. the umbrella that we have, um, the fabric that was purchased is the exact match. Oh, OK. So it, the 15 will stay, but Gabby's jar will be removed, oh, good. covered. Mm -hmm. Okay. Now, you say temporary. How long does a showroom generally? Well, we I have heard, and this is inside information, that it will be within the end of 2015. You'll see a full-size store. Oh, okay. Uh, this is just a startup then. We're a, so we're, we're a showroom. So we're we're okay. it's pre-branding we bring to the community to show, you know, to create that relationship. and. Mm -hmm really start creating the identification of the of the brand which and, mm. and we've realized is already set that the girls already know who we are so it's been it's been really great and easy mm. where's your headquarters at <laughs> we are vancouver it's vancouver. lululemon we, oh, oh, we belong to lululemon. lululemon yes okay gotcha i was gonna say i don't think you're gonna need till the end of 2015. Ooh. you could probably do it the end i of think you year. could probably just you, do you it know. now i know i wish that <laughs> I mean, that was now. that was in my control <laughs> um it's it's great i mean, they've definitely they're scouting real estate and they have an idea of where they want it to be and how many um, iviva stores are there we are the first in this area there are six in the united states at the moment mm -hmm. um currently tomorrow 10 showrooms open it, all across the United States, and that is, we are one of them. So we have one, wow. we're on the East Coast, it's us, Orlando, and Miami opening tomorrow. Wow. wow. What do you have on the West Coast? Um, we have one in Sacramento, one in Salt Lake City, one near Dallas. Um, there is one in Portland. Um, there's quite a few of us yeah. opening tomorrow, so we've got a, a good little group and then more. Yeah, thank you. Mm -hmm. We have one in Cherry Hill coming in October, I believe, is what I'm hearing. So all we're, all we're approving well, is this. It's a right? sign. Mm -hmm. uh, and it, well, they're stripping off of the name on yeah. the morning. And the other question I've been hearing, the, um, the hours of operation, that's not a problem to put on, if I were to put that on the door in no, small little decals? Mm -hmm. okay. no, that's fine. That's good. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Are you going to uh, illuminate that sign in no, any way? No, it illumination. is not. No. Okay. And uh, the one, the one, um, one comment I had about the sign, I mean, it looks great and everything, but you know, there's a lot of SUVs to park in front of there and all. Yes. I don't know whether that sign should just go a little higher maybe to get better visibility so it's not blocked. If that is something that you guys would like. I know normally, like I said, we do a pin sign and it, mm -hmm. or a blade sign, and it actually hangs, but right. it would hang between the awnings with your... Yeah. So mm -hmm. it would be useless for anybody to see it. Mm -hmm. um, that's normally what they would have done. So if we'd like to, to move up, that, you know, if well. we want it to start um, mid of the top of the door that that window set that's at the top of the door mm -hmm. if we wanted it to be you know up here i don't know what do you guys feel why don't we give them um, yeah. license to move it just move so it yeah, yeah so okay. that you can make sure you have cool. visibility yeah. sure you're just going to have a lot of those suvs parked there yes, and it's they're in and out and in and out all day long yeah <laughs> yeah they're just trying to get the best no point, i appreciate you know. that absolutely yeah. and how about parking so <laughs> I know that's a big issue. That We've already gotten a couple tickets. That. Yes. Um, <laughs> it doesn't. It, uh, we are going. We have the parking permits, but Good. corporate has to pay for it. So we've had to uh, submit check approval, mm -hmm. and they're going to send the check to Radner. And it's just been a little bit of an ordeal okay. because we don't. You guys don't take American Express, yeah. and that's our corporate card. Oh. So, <laughs> um, so that is the one thing. But we do. We're going to get two uh, parking permits Great. for Great. six months at the AT and T yes. building. Okay. Good. Right. Yeah, and then it's going to be, you know, that those spaces will be available for our guests. Yeah. There's yeah, parking at the AT&T building? I think it's Oh, you mean the one? That's right. I'm thinking, of, I'm thinking of the part on West Avenue. Right. No, I got it. Right. I got it. The one There's on Yeah, it's just going to be a little walk for yep. us, but. Yeah. I'm a little You're athletes. What are you actually selling? <laughs> we, oh, sell, we sell athletic wear. Um, oh, okay. It's, you know, we've got Younger. a range of 
tennis outfits for girls, um, running pants, anything that you can sweat in, we make it. Hmm. Got it. Yeah, there's a lot of little athletes in, in these communities, and right. they really love to have something besides Under Armour or Nike to wear. So, mm -hmm. Is Lulu still a pretty strong brand out there? We are. Okay. Yeah. Because I know there's been a lot of competition. Didn't Gap come out with their own branded? It hasn't phased us at all. Okay. All right. <laughs> I worked for King of Prussia for two years, so I've been in that store and have seen um, it's we've, we've done really well. Yeah, good. There's one in Suburban Square, too. Mm -hmm. Right, right. You guys are going to be a golden. It's unbelievable. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. It's a cult. <laughs> yes. The Lulu juice, yeah, yeah we definitely, it's, right. it's um, once you start wearing this stuff, it's hard to not. Yeah. Mm. Our men's wear is really great, too. <laughs> you tried it? It's almost across the street from you. Right. Yeah. Get him, yeah. Glenn, get a pair of shoes. <laughs> I'm, I'm, I'm cut as it is. I don't need that tight oh, stuff. Oh, yeah. yeah. Right. Well, that's how you're going to No tight it. stuff. No, yeah. it's okay. nice, comfortable. It. Oh, all right. Yeah. Okay. yeah. It's, gotcha. We have lifestyle wear, too, so you're good. All right. Ray and I will go in together. Joe has okay. it. Yeah. Joe has it. Jim, really? Well, yeah, because yeah, our daughter worked for them, so now we uh, have a lot okay. of Lulu. <laughs> all right. And uh, you probably heard from previous applicants no about the 20, board. no sandwich boards and a 20% yes, window signage. Okay, yes. good. All right. You've been listening. I have. Great. Okay. Uh, any other questions for our board? Not at all. No? Any other questions for the applicant? Mm -mm. No? Done. You're right. Cindy, or, uh, or, or Lisa? Um, in the matter of DRB 2014 25, I move that we approve the wall sign as submitted. Okay. Second? Second. Anybody? Okay. All in favor? Aye. Aye. Okay. Thank you. Great. Thank you so Lots much. Of luck. Thank Congratulations. You. Welcome. Thank you. All right, so Tony's still not here, and we're moving along pretty quick, so hopefully. Does anybody we, have his number? Uh, Ray just said he's running late, so. Okay. All right, looks Is Tony like. Tony Zaccardi still coming? Yeah, he's uh, evidently he's running late. He's got another meeting to go to. Well, if he doesn't. No, we'll we'll uh, do handle this one, and then uh, we'll go from there, so. Okay. Next on the agenda, then, is DRB 2014-26, the application at LaPon at 223 East Lancaster Avenue in Wayne, zoned at Wayne Business Overlay District for two ground signs, three wall signs, and outside dining permit. And I didn't try that. LaPon, you can help me out. LaPon puts it in. I'm, I'm glad I didn't try it. Yeah. LPQ, LaPon. Okay. Yeah, everybody avoids the last name. Right. Go with yeah. LPQ. Okay, great. Uh, it's nice to have you here. Okay. If you feel more comfortable using a handheld or somebody else wants to step right up. Yes. You must be a bakery. Oh, yeah. We have to tell him to guess. This is a good, <laughs> this is a winner, right? Yeah. Oh, okay. Good evening. My name's Bob Patterson. I'm an architect with a lo local architectural firm in Ardmore. And we were hired by LPQ to do their permit and approval processing. So great. we're here today for signage and outdoor seating. And great, great. All right. Why don't we? Um, maybe you can just walk us through the exterior of the building, which you've, which you've done and what you're planning on doing, just the exterior. On the seating. Yeah. Room. No, just okay. the ex exterior of the building, the, the clean up and any renovations you've made to the exterior. Because I know, you know, years ago it was a Gino's restaurant and it was Winds of the East and... Uh, was it Boston Market too? Boston Market, Boston, Market. Boston I mean, Chicken, Cozy's. Boston Cozy's. Market. Cozy's. 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 Yep. That's right, yeah. So it looks like you guys are doing a lot of work. So maybe you can just let the board know what, what's going on down there at this point. Okay, we're keeping the... Um, there's an existing exterior ramp and stair that will remain. Um, the storefront glass in the entrance remains as is. Um, there's presently an awning on the side and in the front. Uh, they're going to remove the canvas but keep the framework, and they're going to hang um, ivy pots and plantings from the uh, framework of the uh, awning, as it shows on SK 20.8. Um, there's an existing parapet wall that surrounds, I believe, th the two sides in the front. That will remain, but they're going to outline it and picture frame it with four inch molding and hand paint the signage as shown on the front elevation. Okay. All right. So why well, don't we. And also behind that power pit wall, they're going to build a stand and put planters up there so they have ivy overflowing okay. the, the front of the uh, power pit. All right. Why don't, we, why don't we start with the wall signage? 
Okay. Why don't you walk us through what you plan on doing as far as the wall signage? The wall signage is um, the color is shown on the drawing on uh, point eight. It's a um, Lafayette Green, Lafayette Green mm -hmm. by Benjamin Moore. Um, in the center panel, they have the name. And on the left side, they have a smaller, let well, the, the name is in 12 inch letters, 12 inches high. Mm -hmm. um, and the breakfast and brunch, lunch and pastries, they are eight inch high letters, all hand painted um, with a shadow. Let me find that drawing. There's the name sign with the, uh, the black is actually the Lafayette green. Mm -hmm. And then there's a gray shadow line as shown. That's the actual size of 12 inches. The, the existing backdrop's gonna stay? Yes, that's a stucco okay. surface. Okay, the, the problem is, according to our code, uh, and I'll read it, uh, prohibitive signs and signs painted on any wall surface under the code's not allowed. So you can't hand paint a sign. According to the code, that's, I mean, that's my interpretation. So now that two paper dolls that came in, they're basically manufacturing a sign, mm -hmm. painting on the sign and putting it in place. You're basically applying a sign right to the existing wall. They have 77 locations in the U.S. and right, each right. one of those is hand painted yeah. as part of their motif. Unfortunately, Rodner's. Rodner, now, this is, is that code. something you could go to the um, well, you probably could. For? And, I, and I don't know why that was put in the, the code book originally. Yeah. But my, the only thing that I can think of is I know um, dimension was a big thing years ago. Dimension? They wanted, you know. Oh, they wanted dimension. Yeah, they wanted something yeah. that maybe stood out a little bit or whatever. But according to our code book. So in, in Manhattan, I, I've been there and I just guess I've never paid attention. Is it painted on the wall of the buildings in Manhattan? Uh, you know what? Yeah. I'm sorry. Can you come up to the mic? No. Yeah, thanks. And you know, maybe you can tell us who you are. And uh, Peter Baborglu, project manager with Lepen Cotidian. Great. Uh, some of the buildings that is painted on, it depends on the rules for specific buildings. It, mm -hmm. It's less uh, city-wide regulations as opposed to buildings themselves. So okay. what do they do where you're not allowed to paint on the? Because I feel like I've seen um, yeah, like a distressed have, wood panel or yeah, something. Yeah, we have wood with paneling. Paint. We have pin-mounted yeah. signs. Um, nothing's backlit. Everything is front lit with right. LEDs. Uh, if lit at all, sometimes they're not even lit. Right. I know. I feel like they're all, they're just beautifully done and they're very, yeah. um, you know, classic looking. Very French. Very French. Uh, we try to make everything unique, and mm -hmm. the reason why we go towards a hand painted is it makes it look old world, right. um, European. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Well, I guess. So I guess two choices. I, I would approve a wood panel. I know that's a very long panel if you were going to do that across there. If you could do a distressed wood panel and hand paint on that, and the same with the breakfast, lunch, and, um, and yeah. breakfast, brunch, lunch, and pastries, mm -hmm. um, you know, I, I think you could make that look consistent with the style. Or because we can't approve painting on the bill. I like painting I, on the building. I we can't. I mean, it's. In the code I think book, it looks so. good, and I think it looks really appropriate. Yeah. But because um, I know how it would look, just be, be awesome. But. Yeah. Um, or or I don't know. If, you I mean, know, it's actually out. not the building itself. It's a parapet. Yeah. Well. Does it matter? I don't know, Ray. I mean, you what, take what's your interpretation on this? You know, if you really wanted to. Yeah, push the, it's, it, the, the answer is no. Anything that's painted on or it has to be applied to a sign, a backing of some kind, and that backing then has to go on the building. We tried to get away from murals and paintings yeah. and the brick bar and those type of areas. Yes. That's why the no writing was, or no painting of the building with signage was, was done. To get around it, individual letters. To get around it, you could take like a 16th inch thick plastic, which would be another material, which would be almost flush with the building, and paint that, and then apply that mm -hmm. to the building. Yeah, I think that's That right. would work. I mean, that would... Or a quarter inch yeah. plywood. Yeah, quarter inch yeah. plywood, right. yeah. yeah. As long, yeah. Well, but if you want something really thin, you could just use, like, 16th inch. One of those, something kind of 
Yeah. yeah. Or that sheet building metal. is set back far enough from the road. I really don't think nobody's going to. You, wouldn't, you yeah. wouldn't be able to tell. But we're trying to help you. Yeah. OK. Um, what about uh, individually cut letters out of wood? Yeah. Uh, yeah. Not a problem. Yeah. Kidding? We love that. that. Yeah. Mm -hmm. no, yeah, that's I right. Think, I think I'm not part of the design team, but I know them. And I think they would probably tend more towards the wooden letters mm -hmm. painted. Because yeah. it almost has the same look. Yep. Mm -hmm. Yeah. I'm that sure you can good. shatter that out too. Mm -hmm. That shouldn't be a problem. No, so we can. No, uh, I mean with the little, the kind of offset, you know, the green, just with the little letter mm -hmm. color trend. Well, they'll be hand painted, I'm sure. Yeah. No, yeah. Um, right. So we we could. I don't even think we would need the shadow because they would create their own shadows. Yeah, yeah. I think you're right. Well, whatever, you know. Yeah, yeah. yeah. yeah that's true. Yeah. That would look good. Would that work for you? Uh, yeah, if we as approve far that. as I'm concerned, I'll, I'll double check and confirm with my design team. Sure, but uh, I think that they, I think that would look great. Mm -hmm. And then I guess we're gonna have to do the same to the uh, the end caps there, the breakfast mm -hmm. and brunch and mm -hmm. whatever on the other side. Keep it consistent. Absolutely, we're okay, okay with that. You, you feel you're yeah, pretty yeah. good. I okay. think it would be approved. Okay, that would look good. Okay. Okay. All right, that's one little hurdle. Okay. Uh, Letter height is, I believe, what did I say, 12, 12 inches? inches? 12 That's inches. 12 inches. We're fine That's with that. Fine. Yeah. Okay. All right. So why don't we look at the ground signs? Okay. All right. They are, if you go to 20.5, uh, uh, there's three existing sign frames that <clears throat> I guess were there from the prior. Mm-hmm. Establishment. Um, the larger sign uh, um, is five foot by five foot. Stands four feet off the ground. All these signs are located in a an existing planter mm -hmm. that's in front of a, a brick wall, separating the sidewalk from the parking lot. Um, the center sign with the LPQ on it will um, be on a painted blackboard, hung hung on chains and then lit from the ground on both sides with LED lighting. Okay, and the, again, according to the code, the, the sign can't uh, move. It's gotta be anchored down. So somehow, if, even if it's chained, make sure it doesn't move. We'll chain it top and bottom. We'll yeah. chain both okay. top okay. and the bottom. Right. Yeah. Okay. okay, and actually just as a reference, according to our code, ground signs are only allowed eight feet high. This is actually nine. Mm -hmm. So this is actually considered a pole sign. Okay. With a pole sign, you only get up to 25 square feet, so he's right at 25. He's right at so, 25, so Yeah, so good. it's really mm -hmm. a pole sign, yeah. not a ground sign, yeah, okay. technically. So. It's good to, I think it's good to make that distinction. Yeah, because well, if, if you were eight feet or under, you could have 30 square feet. You could have a little bit larger sign, but since you're higher than eight feet, your well, square footage goes to 25. we're reusing the existing Exactly, frame, yeah. So. yeah. So you're going to paint that, clean it all up? Yes, it's, um, okay. it's, get, it's getting painted with a, um, it's called rust paint. It actually looks like rust. Oh, right, okay. that'll look good. Hmm. It's so a great look. On 20.8, is that the sign that I'm looking at? It's just not exactly rendered in the way you're going to do it. You said, is it going to be a black background? Is Maybe I misunderstood. It, no, it's, uh, the, okay. The frame is rust, and then yes. the, the backboard of the sign is the, um, is it, the white. Is it like a cream or something? Yes, yeah, a cream, and then the, the green letters. Green letters? Mm -hmm. Pretty. I okay. was mistaken. That's right. I just wanted to make sure I wasn't confused between the two. And that then there's two good. smaller uh, directional signs mm -hmm. um, on each side of the brick wall. Um, they're going to have uh, translucent um, panels. Mm -hmm with the uh, enter and exit. En Francais. Oh, swell. <laughs> this is great. I think our public so can figure that out. that's the three ground signs. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> What's that? You think the public can figure this one out in French? I'm pretty sure they we'll can get see. the answer. Yeah, yeah, right. So hopefully there's yeah. no head-ons down there. With this. The message, yeah. yeah, right. <laughs> they can follow the arrows. Okay. All right, so we're okay with those. And again, you're going to, is the frame going to match the pole sign frame? Is that the idea? Yes, yes. Okay, so. I'll have the rust paint also. Okay, mm -hmm. all right. So we're in good shape there, guys. Mm -hmm. All right. Mm -hmm. Okay, opaque background then. The only thing at nighttime is going to be visible is, is enter well, or not. You're going to have ground lighting on the Le, Le Pan Quotidian sign, right? Yes, the yes. Sign, yeah. But the enter and exit signs? 
They're lit inside. Lit inside, but at nighttime, the backgrounds are going to be black, and the only thing that's going to be visible is basically the enter and exit. No, they're translucent panels. Are they so translucent? Not opaque, they're translucent. So what do we see at night? Just uh, the glow of the translucent panels and then the dark letters. We, we really go with opaque backgrounds, where only, yeah. the, only, only the lettering should show at night. The background should look black. And you want the letters lit? Letters yeah, lit. Background. background black. Background black. Yeah, that's, a, again, according to code. Okay with that. All right. If it's a code issue, I don't. It's a code, yeah. yeah. We're yeah. okay with that. Okay, good. <laughs> okay. Oh, yeah, it's not a personal issue. No, no, it's a, it's a code issue. Personally. Yeah. Um, all right. Why don't you tell us a little bit about the, the landscaping you're going to do? Uh, Peter? Uh, are you referring to the, the ivy? Yeah, let's talk about the ivy and even out front where the uh, ground sign is. Okay. You know? Um, well, out front, we're going to keep what's there and just clean it up, trim it down and okay. clean it up. Mm -hmm. um, as far as the restaurant itself, the awning fabric is being removed, mm -hmm. and then we're, we're going to do the same rust paint on the frame. Mm -hmm. We're going to leave it up and do the frame. Uh, above the um, parapet, we're going to have uh, um, a stand and put some planters so the ivy looks like it's coming over the parapet. Mm -hmm. And then we're going to put some ivy planters and some hanging pots on the frame itself so that the ivy starts growing on the frame. Nice. That'll look great. Okay. And then the um, the patio where the seating is, that's just, it, it's in good shape, the yeah, concrete, it, I'm the sure, right? The plants are great. They just need to be trimmed yeah. and cleaned mm -hmm. up. All right, good. Yeah, yeah, the the building's been in great run shape. down a little bit. Right. And, yeah. yeah. You know what? I noticed, too, I always feel like the bad guy here, but I might as well tell you. I, I noticed you want to have a string of lights along the building frontage. Yes, an LED strip. Is that against code? Yeah, it is. It is? Yeah. Are we allowed yeah. any type of front lighting? Can well, you we are. Goose, can we do goosenecks? You yeah, goosenecks. sure you can. Yeah. It, uh, illuminated tubing or strings of light which outline roof lines, doors, windows, or wall edges when used for advertising purposes, but excluding temporary signs for traditional season decorations. Okay. So you're, you're not going to see this behind trim, so it's just it's uplighting the, the yeah, it's supposed to be uplighting the signage. It's as opposed to you, you don't see the strip lighting. You don't see oh. the light source. It's a light source. You don't it's, see the lights. So no, you don't. There's a in front of it, a piece of trim, so that yeah. it's just going to wash the So wall. this is more oh. to illuminate the oh. sign, that, that, not so the, much the, to illuminate the, the ivory or the landscaping. Exactly. exactly. Oh, okay. Yeah. I, might, I, I thought it was Didn't kind of an accent, the, the ivy and, and stuff. Okay. Yeah, you won't see the light okay. source. Okay, so, so it's a light, the... light for the sign. Right. Yeah, okay. it's, it's upward directional. Okay. It's only on one side. Okay. The lighting lends itself for the length of the sign. Okay, good. Now, like I said, I thought it was for just to accent the landscaping and, you know, Okay, no sweat. I think it's very nice. I yeah. It's nice detail. Okay, good. All right, and then you've probably heard you have your address number on your uh, pole sign, so you're in good shape there. Yes. Okay, I don't know if you want to put that on the building also, so that's, that's your call. Um, trash, the trash is going to be in the same location it is now? Correct. Okay, and it's shadow boxed, or it needs to be? The dumpster? Um, what's shadow boxed? Well, just... Uh, just not it's exposed an existing in the parking enclosure. lot. Yeah, an enclosure. Yeah, yeah. yeah. it's enclosed now. Yeah, right. Okay. <coughs> and uh, no sandwich boards. You've heard that spiel a couple of times. Yep. Okay. All right. Okay, we're going to move the outside dining. But is there anything yeah. else with the signage, landscaping, any of that stuff? I like it. Yeah, the I sidewalks I know at one time are in bad shape, and I don't know if they've ever been looked at or not. I don't know whether whether they were repaired years ago or not, but why don't we ask you to take a look at those sidewalks? Just I'll take a look. I, I've been there safe. a few times. I, I haven't really they, noticed. They, they may the have been repaired. Yeah, yeah they, they may have been. Is this uh, a cozy one? Yes. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Okay. But yeah, one time I knew they were real bad. I mean, like I said, I just can't remember if anybody's taken care of them yet or not. But uh, okay. All right. Any other questions on the building signage, landscaping? No, I think we're there. Sure. Any I feel like you questions it all. for us? Yeah. Okay. All right. So why don't we look at the outside dining? And you know what? Why don't I just give you guys a brief rundown on? Well, you're not really going to be there. Is, is, is that your manager as such, or no? No, or, she's she's, she's with Bob. Oh, okay. Yeah. So nobody's really here from the business as such, representing. I'm from the business. No, I'm saying yeah. work work in the store. Operationally, basically. yes. No, no. Okay. All right. Because there's some parameters, and it's pretty clear the do's and don'ts on outside dining in the code book, and. Um, 
Yeah, I'd suggest they, they look them over here. I mean, season, and I'll just give them to you. Season runs from March 1st to November 30th. Hours of operation are from 8 to 10. Uh, no signs allowed advertising outside dining. You can put heaters outside, but they have to be approved by the code officers here at the township. You, uh, you told the last applicant you need uh, covers, you need umbrellas and awnings or whatever for the outside dining. If you're going to have seat cushions, upholstered seat cushions, that's got to be approved also. It's a fire hazard. It's got to be approved by the township. The trash cans have to be supplied. Uh, you know, well, we'll talk about the percentage. There's a, that percentage rule Cindy brought up. You're how like many, 25%. Do you know how many tables are in, how, what or, the seating is inside? It's about 80. Okay. So you're allowed 25 percent outside, and no we have more. 12 seats. Yeah. You're fine. You're fine. Yeah, yeah good. Six if tables, they have an enclosed, dedicated like seating inches. area outside, yeah, do they have to re bring that furniture inside at night? No. No. Good. No. Okay. Yeah, and uh, no plastic good. furniture. You'll tell us about no, your uh, furniture, and if we approve it tonight, you still have to get clearance from community development board again, like for fire hazards and stuff like that. So. We don't have cushions. They're uh, metal frames. Okay. Natural wood uh, slats, both on the tables and the chairs. Okay. okay. All right. So yeah. why don't you? Why don't we look at the plan itself for outside dining? I think you have it in here, don't you? Mm -hmm. A this little one, sketch. Right? Yeah. A one. A one. Okay. Good. Yeah. So maybe you could just walk us through the outside dining and the, the layout and everything like that. So. All right. As I'm, you... I'm sorry. I can you use a mic too? Just because you're. Thanks. As you can see from the three photographs, there's an existing um, concrete pad that looks as if it was used for outdoor dining previously. Mm -hmm. um, we're going to utilize that, make no changes, fix up the landscaping, as Peter said. Um, on the plan, we have three 10-foot square umbrellas. They're black, as shown in uh, A2. Mm -hmm. um, under each one, there are two tables and four chairs for a total outdoor seating number of 12. Very nice. Yeah. That's good. good. Really good. And no, no advertising on the awnings, correct? Correct. OK. Just plain black. Not allowed. <laughs> OK. We made our first submission with their logo on it, but uh, right. oh, yeah. it got quickly changed out. OK, good. <laughs> All right. Also, they're going to furnish a black uh, aluminum fence, as you can see in the photograph on A1. And that's going to outline three sides of the perimeter of the seating area. Mm -hmm. That's a good idea. Yeah. I'm trying to think when Cozy was there. Did he hang some plants out there also or, or not just to jazz it up a little bit? I feel like they had something flowering. Maybe yeah, I mean, they you're going to have plenty there. So, yeah, with the awnings and the. No, it looked, the, the it's going to look great. Yeah, yeah. This is really for sure. Good yeah. You said the hour limitations were 8 to 10, but is yeah. that 8 a.m. to 10 p.m.? Yeah, and, yeah. and, okay. and you, you should really like close things down at 10. And especially uh, right next door, you have some residential. So and I think that was a problem. The, re the restaurants typically aren't even open to town. Yeah, I wondered yeah. about yeah. that, yeah. Are, yeah. You, are you guys basically like a Panera? Is that a pretty oh, good analogy? Uh, we, we, yeah, we, I, I don't know. Huh? We, we don't yeah. like to no, right. use Panera as a comparison, okay. but uh, it, it's no, a bakery it's really restaurant. Good. It's really nice. The interior, you should describe the menu since you know yeah. it a little bit. It's, it's all uh, organic. It's, um, they're, they're called tartines. They're open-faced sandwiches, uh, salads, mm -hmm. soups. Um, we have vegetarian, gluten-free, uh, pretty much everything healthy that mm. people eat nowadays. And it's, usually the interior is designed very French cafe-ish, is that right? Yeah, all, yeah. all of the millwork is actually reclaimed wood from old uh, train cars. Um, it, oh. it, it really looks great. Cool. The mm -hmm. wood floors, tile, um, marble countertops. When do you think you'll be open? Uh, we're planning on opening on July 11th, uh, wow. obviously wow. pending inspections. Holy smokes. Yeah. And is it breakfast, lunch, and dinner all? Uh, no, not dinner, just breakfast, lunch. Breakfast, lunch, okay. And brunch. So okay. what time do they close? Uh, typically, they close 8 to 8.30. Okay. Um, obviously, that would be up to the operations crew. I'm not sure what they're planning on at the and moment. And open? 7.30, mm -hmm. 7. Yeah. Okay. Sounds good. All right. Is it a BYO? Don't start the outside you... dining till 8 o'clock, all right? Yeah. yeah. Okay. Is it a BYO? Do you... They've applied for a liquor license, so oh, that's okay. in the process. Good. Hmm. They can have champagne hmm. and eggs at 7.30 a.m. Hmm. <laughs> <laughs> good. Okay. All right. Any other comments about the outside dining look like we're I know, I think it's great really a good addition to Wayne okay can't wait all right nice 
Any other questions for the board? You're okay with the signage and all that stuff? Yeah. Okay. All right. Well, you know, again, give you some leeway on that. But, you know, if you want to use thin plywood and apply the letters that way, I guess, again, just don't have the fasteners visible. Yeah. Try to conceal them. So I'm sure you guys will do a great job. So, all right, good. Is it motion time? Mm -hmm. Unless you have any other questions, comments? No, I think no. we're fine. You guys questions. are all right? Any other we're comments okay or questions from the board? So. No. Okay. Ray, you're all right with everything? Okay. All right. Right. Okay, who remembers all the amendments? Well, we'll start with the wall sign. Do you want me to do it? Yeah, you want to? Yeah. Sure. Okay. Sounds okay. like you're going to be your best customer. You might as well. I, right? <laughs> really? Yeah. No, I think I have to get back to Lululemon, actually. <laughs> okay, all right. With you coming to town, this is not a good thing for me. Um, in the matter of DRB 2014-26, LePan Cotidian, we have a number of areas that we're applying. Okay, so the wall signs, uh, we approve either Sir. pin mounted wooden letters or you that you affix a, a board of some kind and put your letters on it no painting on the no facade no hand painted yeah. on the facade the letters are to be 12 inches and no taller and i know the other the ones on the two ends are smaller then um the pole sign did we say it's a it's actually mm. it is a pole sign yeah. um approved as submitted but it cannot swing inside must that frame so it must be anchored the exit signs a, Design approved is submitted, but they must reverse to black at night, so they need to be opaque film on the on the um, signs. Is that the whole all the signage? Mm -hmm. uh, yeah, the wall sign. D did wall sign? Did the wall sign? Did the wall sign? Okay. Yeah. Yep. Um, and for the outside dining, I I uh, move that we submit that we um, accept as presented. Um, in terms of the awning, I also move that we accept the submission of the hanging plants, removing the awning, and the plant material above the parapet. What's left? Sandwich boards. Oh, no sandwich boards. Bob will be personally over there. <laughs> Anything else? And, and uh, look at your sidewalk. Yeah, check this out. See, and see and just uh, community development has to OK. There. Community development will have to approve your outdoor dining or review outdoor dining. Look at your look at the, um, the furniture. Is that the? Yeah, it's just yeah. basically, right, you're going to Yes, and they, they basically you can, again, do the concept. You can't approve because they're technically not open. They don't have a food license, so they can't have outdoor dining. Okay. It's the technical end of getting there. Mm -hmm. But, yes, they'll have to come back to see us once the restaurant gets open. Once you get your certificate of occupancy, then you can apply for your license to have outdoor dining. And okay. I think the last thing is if you want outdoor heaters, you need to also go to the township for that. How do we do? Beautiful. Thanks, okay. boss. Very second? I'll second. Okay. Second. All in favor? Aye. Aye. Okay. Thank you very much. Thank Thanks. you. Yeah, Thanks. Appreciate it. Very exciting. Oh, I know. I'm a little hungry now. <laughs> All right. Thanks. Okay. All right. Oh, that's it. Well, do we have, a, do we have anything? Unfortunately, Tony hasn't shown. So let's uh, DRB 2014-21, the application of Brandywine Operating Partnership at 222 to 236 North Rodner Chester Road in St. David's. Continued. Planned uh, zoned uh, planned business for five awnings and five outside dinings. And Ray, we do not do a continuation, correct? It is off the agenda to have to resubmit, correct? Okay, and unfortunately, Tony said he was gonna run late, but I mean, it's 20 of eight, so. Okay, so we'll ask uh, Tony to resubmit and hopefully we'll see him again next month. Okay. So do we under under old business? Is there any old business for our board? No, but I'd like to thank Peggy for sending us the information um, about was it the zoning, the approved board yes. meeting? Thanks for including that for us. Appreciate okay. that. All right. Yes, she's great. Okay. Make a motion for adjournment. I move that we adjourn. Okay. Thank you.